Country artist Julianne Ankley's story moves her to write heartfelt songs and deliver electric performances, both solo and with her band, The Rogues. Check it out. Baby, sit down here beside me. There's a couple things I gotta say. What makes a perfect country song? The old saying is three chords and the truth. <laughs> You're out of town working away. Country's role in the Detroit music scene, it has a bigger foothold than you think it might. Um, people who don't typically listen to country music are unaware of how much country fans there are in Detroit. I grew up with a lot of country music. I mean, that was a big influence in my life. I'm from a little town in the Thelma, Michigan called Jetto, Michigan. It's very small, one blinking light. Grew up on a huge cattle farm with horses and everything else. And I didn't get started in music until uh, a little later in life. It started as a self-fulfillment, more or less like a diary. I was writing, you know, just to get things out and down and looking for myself, more so to speak, and, and what did I stand for as a, as a mother in her 30s? What was I about, you know? So I started to write these things down, um, and they became songs, and then I just went on to, to keep pushing it. I mean, I couldn't play guitar. I taught myself how to play guitar. I, you know, if you put your mind to it, you can do anything. And that's my dad's words. He's the one that taught me, just do it. There's a call coming in from Memphis from someone you know. I felt that a lot of country music was gearing toward a younger group of people. And I didn't feel that there was a lot of music out there at the time that I was interested coming from women that were maybe just a little bit older who had a different message and a different point of view and felt different things and different life experience at that point in your life. So I felt the need to express myself and what I was going through. Don't think I can remember what yellowed pages recall We went everywhere together Hanging out through it all Cottonwoods fly like snow in the air I would have to say a strength, you know, female strength, power, perseverance, just looking at things through a, a woman's eyes, you know. Um, all you have to do is look around you all the, there's songs everywhere little itty bitty songs waiting everywhere every experience there's there's something that can be said there so um, I just took a lot of my life experiences and and wrote them in, into a song sun's going down on a big red sky perfect time for taking a ride the smell in the air makes me feel so alive I didn't start singing publicly until I was in my late 30s. I was way too shy. I couldn't even, I, that was the most difficult thing about performing was I wanted to write songs and send them to someone else to do them. But sometimes you need to do your songs in order to make them get some attention. I had to really warm up to performing. It was not not easy. I would never have imagined this, no. Only thing that I found that you never ran out of is run around. Run around, run around, run around. The feeling that I get from the audience at a major festival is, is different than what you will see here. Um, a major festival is adrenaline. Um, you get the crowd psyched and they're psyched back and it just kind of goes back and forth with a lot of energy. When you play in intimate settings such as the Howell Opera Theater, it's completely different and this is what it really gets me right here is when you can have a moment where you've written a song and you touch someone and they, you can feel it, the, the room gets very, very quiet and you know that they're listening to what you're saying and what you're playing and um, it's a huge exchange of energy that I just really love. Made her fly so high Like that big burning sun You brighten up her sky I feel blessed that I can connect with people that way. I feel that many of them will tell me that I've given them a voice where they were not able to speak. At the end of your rope and your strength is gone. 
There's the song um, Don't Let Go, and um, I had a friend who was just really feeling discouraged and really down, and um, I wanted to encourage that person in some way, and I was just feeling it. How can I, you know, don't give up, don't give up, don't let go, and it just it started happening, so I started writing it, and I found that a lot of people have told me that that particular song really, you know, sticks in their head and makes them feel better, gives them strength, and and drive. Keep it steady now, take it slow, baby don't let go. I wrote another one uh, for my sister-in-law called uh, He's Still My Boy. She was having a difficult time because her son was headed into boot camp and uh, was really struggling with supporting him yet conquering her, the fear of watching him go off to boot camp. So. I wrote that song and that's been seen in over 105 countries so that one has really seemed to hit home with a lot of parents and families of military soldiers. He's still my boy. I think that's the whole reason that I went into songwriting was to connect with other people and when you connect with a room full of people there's it's magic it really is I've received five Detroit Music Awards um, one for songwriter one for vocalist two for my recordings and one for our, our outstanding band Julianne and the Rogues I have Brian Roscoe White who is the lead guitarist and uh, Anna Maria is the backup vocal singer and then I have Roger Noonan on bass and then I have Robbie Manuel on drums they're a great great band I wanna go left foot in the left lane time to go from losing to win I love this the Hall Opera House is fabulous I've also performed I think four times at the Bluebird Cafe in Nashville, which is amazing. Third and Lindsley, um, I've performed at Tootsie's. Um, I'd love to perform at the Ryman. That's still on my bucket list. But. And I sing like no one was listening, except me and Red. I just can't believe I get to do it. I, you know? I mean, it's just, it's a treat every single time. Every single time I try to take a moment and just go, thank you. Thank you that I get to do this. You know, it's a blessing. Just me and Red. You can learn more about Julianne Ankley and the Rogues and all the artists we feature here today on DetroitPerforms.org. <laughs>